Hello and welcome. This is Allison Bucklin. I am leading Team Possible on a mission to raise money and awareness for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society, representing the Maryland chapter. And I am just grateful to be in this position. The purpose of these interviews is to bring stories of hope and inspiration to the world for those that have been affected by cancer. And I am just beyond grateful to be here today with John Evans. And I'll let John jump in and tell you his story, but it's certainly a divine connection that came about at the right time, I would say, uh, in our journeys here. So John, first of all, thank you for being here, but please share with the world, you know, who you are, where you're from, and how your life has been affected by cancer. Allison, thank you. Um, and honestly, thank you for the platform. And uh, when this was brought up through a mutual friend, um, anytime I can go out and help Leukemia Lymphoma Society, I will do it. Um, I have a lot of... Um, I have a lot of uh, great memories of supporting Man Woman of the Year, and honestly, it means a lot the work that they do. So, you know, thank you for your your efforts and for putting yourself in the position to run for Man Woman of the Year. So, thank you to you. Um, so, my name is John Evans. I um, am a Baltimore native. I grew up in Perry Hall, went to Towson. I live in Elkridge now, but um, I am friends with everyone, and uh, I am a, a I'm a big time networker. I've been a recruiter now with Ronstadt Professionals for 16 years. It's the only job I've ever had. Um, I got my job through networking. And, uh, you know, if we're going back, how, how this conversation would tie into me personally, as I wear my red band, which I just ran to get, um, I love this band. This is a connector band. This is something that has brought so many positive and wonderful conversations to the, um, you know, to the table. You know, it says, says relentless on it and uh man woman of the year is a it's a it's a it's a, a great um it's just a great mission um so back to the point i um, am a leukemia survivor from when i was a kid johns hopkins children's center saved my life when i was a child um you know i always bring this up and it means a lot to me i will tell you that when i was at the children's center i have nothing but positive and wonderful memories of being there and it's based on the love my family was sharing with me the effort that my mother and father and sister went through to be there for me as a, a child and it's really a memory the memories of of real family moments in the hospital are good memories when the oriole bird came in when garfield came in when i was playing with kids at the children's center it's all good memories and um you know, I, 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 you can't emphasize enough how it builds you as a person. So in, 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 in transparency, when I got in, when I was 30 years old, I believe it was you know, 29, 30, um, I was brought the attention of man, woman of the year through connecting with John, the executive director of leukemia and lymphoma society. And they put me with um, their campaign manager who was a wonderful person and they got me organized. And they thought this was the perfect Avenue to network. But the reason I ran for man, woman of the year, was based on I wanted to show the appreciation for my parents and my, my sister and my family and all the people that uh, helped me. So um, that was my mission through that Man, Woman of the Year campaign was just to communicate how much it meant to me and, and all the people that affected me um, to help me get better as a child. Um, but what came from it was so awesome. And this is the uh, journey you're going to be going through, Allison, in such a you know, odd time is this is a opportunity to discuss blood cancer research, annihilating cancer, you know, and helping people who, who have leukemia and lymphoma, giving them hope. Just today, and I, I, I wore my band purposely, and I wore this shirt purposely because this is my Boys and Girls Club shirt. Literally just found out one of my friends from our network is going through cancer through Boys and Girls Club. And, um, you know, it's all... It's, it's just, it, this, this should be a better world. And if we can annihilate cancer, it would be, you know, a better place. And that's why you go through and this is it all impacts so many different people. And this is why we, why we talk about it. For sure. I mean, it doesn't discriminate. We're all connected by, by cancer through whether you coming through as a survivor, having your family to support you, but also in 
not just blood cancer, but in all cancers, we all know somebody who has that. And so I'd love to know from you personally and your stories, what type of blessing or advice could you offer for those who are impacted um, by, by cancer? Hmm. Um, I'll tell you this, this is another thing, right? And, uh, when I was a child, you don't really have the perspective that you're possibly fatally sick, right? So this, I guess I'm going to go back to my point about the effort that my parents went through. The, the amount of, you're, you're getting off work. You have to go get me shots. You have to stay with me overnight in the hospital. It's like not comfortable. It's not easy. So I think that when you, when you look at what um, Leukemia and the Fumicide is doing, they're trying their best to, to drive research, but they're also, they're bringing hope. They bring together people that know what's going on in that community and can be helpful. They're connectors like we are, and I think it's really um, you know, important, the mission that they, they do. Yeah, absolutely. And, and it's so important when you talk about, I mean, I'm a parent, and so that news um, has to be devastating, but then to be there and to support your child and have the support of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society and other parents and other people who are going through, you know, having that connection because, you know, with LLS, they do support patients themselves, but their families and the research. And that, and that kind of brings me to my last question for you, John, is that what's one thing that you'd love to champion about the work that LLS is doing? Oh, I mean, I think you, I think you said it prior is that, you know, that they're, they're helping on a multitude of levels. And um, I, 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 let me go back to, only, you can only go off of your personal experiences, right? The friends that I made throughout Man Woman of the Year campaign are now still friends of mine. They're people that I, I consider, you know, some of my best friends, um, people that ran events for me. Um, you know, I mean, you know, Kenny Kulez's and the Stephanie Clarkson's and all these people that you meet um, throughout, you know, throughout that journey um, was, was really just a, it's a transformative situation. And I, I honestly, I, I get so emotional, I forget sometimes the question. If I can tell you anything, though, I really think it's a matter of just trying to support people and, and, and bring out the positive of, of what, you know, what, what good can you do for that person? You know, pay it forward type attitude. And, um, you know, again, I, you know, I, th I think that's why my message was, you know, the efforts of the, all everyone. It's the family. It's your friends. It's whoever's around you trying to support you. You, gotta, you know, this is a point of trying to support everyone that, that is playing a factor. And for my, my story, my parents and my sister and my family were, were that crutch and, and support system. So. Yeah, I mean, it's so true. You have to rely on the people that are around you and that can support you and lift you up because even now in this world we live in, there's, there's so many things that can bring you down and there's such heavy topics that we're all dealing with in how we interact with each other. And so if we can just provide hope and provide inspiration and provide the tools and the funding and that type of information that for the world, I think in sharing that positivity, we can uplift and bring together everyone. And so I just want to thank you former, I mean, man and woman of man of the year candidate, yeah. you went through this, you know, I'm going through this now and I can't think of a better, um, mission to align with so that we can play our part in saving the world and, and finding, a, a, you know, play our small part in bringing people together and, and finding a cure to, for cancer, because yep. it does affect us all. So well, thank, I just want to thank you, thank you for yeah. your efforts. Well, I was going to thank you because I think putting yourself out there to do this type of campaign is a lot of effort. It's a lot of, um, a lot of love that you're sh sharing with your community. And um, you know, thank you for, for doing this. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate that. I'm so glad we came together. Thank you for recording this with me yeah. and sharing your story and uh, bringing that light and hope to the world. So I just want to thank you again for that. And awesome. Awesome.